Hello and welcome to the channel How We Move the Decimal. In today's video I am listing items on eBay that I had previously photographed. In my other videos I have talked about how I batch everything so I will spend an entire weekend just uploading photographs. I will put them on my computer and I will list them as I have time. So that's what I'm doing here. A grand majority of this batch is clothes that belong to myself, my husband or my children or my father or mother. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I am getting woefully close to the bottom of my death pile, which is both invigorating and terrifying at the same time. I like to have enough to um, get me through the winter because apparently I am a squirrel and bury nuts in the form of thrifted items that I can sell later on. And it, this weekend was a great example of that um, over the holiday weekend we got influenza A. We couldn't go anywhere and I was taking old items that I had previously put in my death pile and I was listing them and they were selling, which was terrifying and great. I will say my sales this year have been down compared to last year and I have almost 200 more items in my store, but I'm kind of not surprised by that. I'm expecting it to be lower because you know, whether people say we're in official recession or not, inflation is insane and people barely have money to buy food. So I can understand them not buying used clothes on eBay, which the things I listed this weekend and sold was not a single clothing item, mind you. They were all hard goods and hard goods are really not my bag. They're more my husband's. He's better at picking them out. He's better at listing them than I am. I lose interest very quickly. I prefer clothing. I can get in a rhythm. I could do um, them fairly quickly where hard goods, it takes me a long time. I like to look them up first before I list them. So there's that. But since we were down with the flu, we did have some time to list some stuff, which one, I found more items that I had not listed on eBay. And two, I couldn't believe how low I was on my death pile. Now, these jeans I'm listing were actually my father's jeans. My father died all the way back in 2005, and we had just put all of his clothes in a tub in my mom's basement until we were ready to emotionally go through them, which was 15 years later. Um, and now we're finally getting rid of them and listing them. I will say he was an otter size, so these have actually been selling better and I, some of his vintage shirts I did keep, I couldn't get rid of, but this is how low I am in my death pile. I recently had a, another family member die and their wife gave me a lot of their clothes and I haven't listed any of that stuff yet. So I will have to go through and do that. I have not been through to a resale shop, thrift store, whatever you want to call it. I have not been to one since September I do need to go to one this week <laughs> pretty badly um, or I, I hate paying full retail for anything. I ha I am running a 5k this weekend and it's an um, ugly sweater dash. You just, you need to be as tacky as possible. I have nothing. I, I mean, my husband has like a game of Thrones Christmas sweater that I can probably wear if I need to, but I really wanted something. I My goal is to find really tacky knee-high socks to put over my running leggings so um, I can be warm. I'm not going to run with a coat on. So if I could double layer on my lower extremities, that would be great. The And there's a couple options. I just don't know if I want compression socks or not because you can't really stop a 5K to go use the restroom when you have to pee. And that's what compression socks do to me. So... The fluid has to go somewhere and it has to go out. Um, but I do need to go to the thrift store to find an ugly sweater or ugly outfit or something to wear. And my 12 year old, who's soon to be 13, he may be 13 by the time this video is posted. Um, he's running with me. So he also needs ugly Christmas garb. And I'm debating whether or not Jingle Bells will be too annoying to run with because I secretly really want to run with Jingle Bells. So... There's that. I also preface that this is my first 5K ever running. I have been training for it for a couple months, but then we got the COVID and then we got influenza A this week. So not a whole lot of training going on, but I have been trying. Um, my son runs cross country, so this won't be anything new to him. 
he asked me if he had to stay back and wait on me. And I was like, no, you can go. You can just go. It's fine. You know, leave mommy behind, you know, pick me up at the end when I have to be like be puking because I'm stressed out. Granted, this is a fun run. It's, I don't even think they're timing it at all. There's just a finish line. Um, and there's like hot cocoa and stuff afterwards. So we're running that. And then that night we have to go do a lighted Christmas parade. So, and we have to walk in it. We're not just watching it. We are walking in it. So that's going to be interesting. I may be dead. Um, but it's been really busy. December is busy. November has been busy because we've just been sick. We've been sick. And when kids are home from school, I'm not getting anything done. Um, we, I did some Black Friday shopping. I don't know if you guys all did Black Friday shopping. It, I was woefully disappointed. I did not go out to any of the stores because influenza A, I didn't think anybody wanted me spreading that around to everybody, but I did do some shopping online. The only place I ended up buying from, I was looking at Walmart and Target and Amazon and um, eBay. And the only place I bought anything from was Amazon. And like I've said in previous videos, my my Black Friday strategy, so I don't overspend, is I put, I fill my cart up and I go and I look and I keep looking and I keep looking. And like what my big purchase, and I can say this because it's not a present for anybody, it's a present for myself. My big purchase was a new vacuum cleaner. This vacuum cleaner normally sells for $199. And I said, if it gets below $150, because the lowest I've ever seen it was $159. I said, if it gets below $150, I will buy it. So it was in my save for laters on Amazon. So I saved it for later. And with that... So what I was saying with the vacuum cleaner, sorry, I had to take a drink. I'm still coughing and hacking. I don't know if it's the flu. I don't know if it's COVID. I don't know if it's random something else. I have no idea. So the um, vacuum cleaner, it was on my Amazon card. I'm like, okay, if this, if gets, if this gets down, I'll buy it. Thanksgiving, I looked at it a couple times. Granted, this is all a fever dream because I had a very high fever and you probably shouldn't shop online when, you, when you're when you like slightly delusional and sick. Um, looked on Thursday, nothing. It had no sale at all. Looked on Friday and it went down to $129. So I'm like, cool, I'm going to buy this for $129. That's going to be my big Black Friday purchase. So I did buy that for $129. I bought a couple other little things here and there. None of them presents. I have no presents for anybody. Nobody gets presents this year. Mommy's stressed. Um, but it got delivered yesterday and the USPS was delivering it, not Amazon. And um, our houses are weirdly numbered. I'm not trying to dox myself. So our houses are weirdly numbered. Like they don't go in order. And like um, 20s are mixed with like six you know one through six is mixed in with the 20s and so on and so forth and this poor usps driver drove by my house three times and he unloaded this vacuum cleaner three different times i'm watching him stop at other houses with this vacuum cleaner because they amazon just shipped it with a label on the box thanks amazon and i'm like that's my vacuum cleaner i know that's my vacuum cleaner so finally on the third time around I flagged him down. I'm like, are you looking for blank address? And he's like, thank God. Like he was so um, appreciative. He had no idea where he was going. And um, it was, I was like, oh, poor buddy. I'm like, oh, you found one, two, three. Thanks. And he just, he didn't know. He, uh, yeah. And this is the year where they, they hire a lot of seasonal help. So these people don't know our area. And my neighbors will get my packages. I'll get my neighbor's packages. Mind one neighbor on one side won't walk the package literally 20 feet to my house. They send it back. Uh, it's happened more than once. And it's so freaking frustrating. They return to sender it. Um, they put like package denied instead of literally walking it 20 feet to my house. I've went and taken my packages off their porch before and I feel like a porch bandit. And I'm like, no, these are mine. I promise I'll show you my ID. Like these are my packages 
and I know Scrooge McDuck over there is going to send it back, and it's going to take me like 60 days to get it back, so if I get it back at all. And I mean, I guess they're not keeping them to the, for themselves, which is great, but oh my gosh, I've had bills and stuff circulate for 30 plus days because this person sent it back instead of literally walking at 20 feet to my house. Um, so yay, it's that time of year. My other neighbor has a ring doorbell and they got my packages more than once and I've had to ring the doorbell. I'm like, these are my packages. This is your package. Like, sorry. So, um, I've had to do that. Thank you for listening to me rant and please like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Have a wonderful day.